Hi, my name is Evan Farmer. I recently went out to Glass Air's facility in Arlington, Washington and built a Sportsman 2 Plus 2 tail dragger in only two weeks. A couple days later, I had it certified for flight by the FAA and after only three weeks, I was on my way home back to New York in the plane I had just built. This is my story. I was nervous, excited, um, but I had been dreaming about this so long that I just wanted to get started. When I was ready to buy a plane, um, I looked and test flew everything from the Mooney, the Cirrus, the Husky, uh, Super Cub. I mean, I wanted an airplane that could literally do everything, and I ultimately found that in the Sportsman. Not only is it a fast, efficient cross-country airplane that can haul a huge load, but it's also a plane that can get me in and out of the tight backcountry spots with the best of the bush planes. You know, you throw in the safety performance numbers, uh, slow stall speed, 42 knots. Um, you know, this is an airplane that's way ahead of its time. And, um, and I'm flying a plane that I built, so I have that much more confidence in, uh, in everything about it. One of the main reasons I wanted to build a plane was so that I could learn the mechanics of how it works, so that I really understood it. You know, I really think it used to be that building a plane was something only done by a certain kind of person, but now it, building a plane at the factory in a professional environment with experienced staff who are there to set up, clean up, answer your questions, building a plane has become something for anyone who wants to learn everything they can about their airplane. And that's a two weeks of taxi program. Yeah, before we started the engine for the first time, I was thinking, surely we missed something. It couldn't possibly work perfectly right out of the gate, but, uh, but I was wrong. I mean, the process is just that thorough. I just spent two weeks intensively building the airplane and then in preparation for the FAA inspection um, went through the airplane as if I was doing basically an annual condition inspection. And the whole process gave me the confidence to know that I had built an airplane to the highest specifications possible and, um, and the FAA agreed. Yeah, I'll admit that before I started the program, I was a little bit nervous about being my own test pilot, but um, after two weeks working alongside the factory mechanics and going through the manual step-by-step -step and getting some uh, stick time in the factory plane, uh, I was more excited than anything. I wanted to get in there and, uh, and, and fly it. I knew it was going to fly. I just wanted to see how my plane flew. Parts are good. Everything's looking great. We uh, we have great uh, great control, and actually can be flown hands off here. And the uh, temperatures all look good. When I was loading up all 430 some pounds of my gear, uh, someone came up to me and said, why don't you ship all that stuff? I said, I just built a plane that's supposed to be able to carry all of it. I want to test it out. A couple minutes later, uh, Ted, one of the founders of Glass Air, came up and said, uh, yeah, I think you're really going to like the way it handles with, uh, with the extra weight. Then I took off, I knew exactly what he was talking about. All right, here we go. The first day of the trip, I was mostly focused on navigating through the mountains, and um, yeah, that's something I'd never done before. I was really grateful to have uh, the stability of the wing loading. Uh, it got a little turbulent, and um, but I felt totally fine. The second day, I was really grateful I was flying the Sportsman. I had to turn around twice in some tight mountain passes. Being able to slow the plane down and make a 180, you know, when, when you get some questionable weather was something that uh, I really appreciate now. Day five, when I finally got through the mountain pass and I, I crossed Salt Lake and got close to Arizona, the terrain started changing. It just, it just hit me all of a sudden. This is something you can't experience any other way. And uh, looking out on the wing, 
It really, uh, it really hit me. I built this thing. I mean, I built this plane that I'm flying, and I'm now over the Grand Canyon. There, there's just really no way to describe it. It's, it's a life-changing experience. The last leg of the trip, I, uh, I took it up high on oxygen and a uh, little tailwind to 200 miles an hour and, and uh, dropped it down on some grass strips outside of Tennessee. And, um, you know, it just, it just really gelled that I had chosen the right airplane. And uh, this trip was, was going to be the first of many adventures. My advice to anybody considering investing in an airplane is to uh, really take a good hard look at what you're getting for your money. Uh, the two weeks of taxi program is not just an investment in a fantastic plane, but um, it's an investment in the knowledge about how that plane works and operates. Um, you can't put a price on confidence and safety. You know, bottom line, there's some things you just can't learn in a book.